Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Next up, a rather interesting one today, World Intellectual Property Day. Now, we consume products and brands and play with gadgets on a daily basis, but little do we know, but there is a silent war going on behind the scenes. Patents and copyrights allow people to own their ideas, and today is World Intellectual Property Day. And here to talk more about it is Elaine Bergentain from De Beer Attorneys. Elaine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I love the fact that we're talking about this because because, you know, we, we know it's there, but we don't really think about it. Intellectual property, how would you unpack that? Okay, so effectively intellectual property rights are monopoly rights or exclusive rights that you obtain. So any new technological idea that you come up with, new concepts, brand names, slogans, any sort of intellectual thinking that you come up with effectively, those sort of aspects are actually eligible for um, intellectual property protection. And then you get exclusive rights to it. So you can prevent third parties from copying you, um, your competitors effectively you know, stop from doing what you're doing or duplicating your efforts and you actually obtain property in it as well so at the end of the day you can sell it you can license it etc that you obtain okay yeah. so so obviously if you get an idea you know and you think it's it's definitely worth your while you know best you take the, the necessary steps to yes. kind of protect that idea so it doesn't get you know land in the hands of somebody else Absolutely. um let's let's just take an example here for a second the zika virus in uganda so right. how how does that your or, or that, that kind of case study how does yes. that relate to the intellectual property that we are talking about yeah. today so as you know, the, so the Zika virus was quite a big sort of scare that we had mm. recently um, in the news, uh, spread, uh, spread through mosquitoes, etc. Uh, the problem there was that actually the Rockefeller Foundation applied for a patent back in 1947 for the Zika virus. So they obtained exclusive rights mm. to the virus itself oh, really? and actually prevented third parties from developing vaccines for the virus for a period of 20 years for the for the validity of the patent. Um, hmm. The rationale that they provided behind it was that they wanted to channel the funds for the development of vaccine to one source. But then again, it actually prevented others from, from developing, you know, a, a treatable yeah. sort of vaccine. So, yeah. That is, that is quite crazy, if you think about it, you know, because yeah. they have the patent. Nobody else can really work on, on it. But, yes. you know, maybe somebody else can come up with something that works. Exactly. Ooh, it is scary, man. But, I mean, once again, they took the right steps. And similarly, something happened also to the Oscar Pistorius is branding as well. Yeah, so Oscar Pistorius is you know well known in the in the media. Um, obviously, a big celebrity in terms of yeah. sporting, um, etc. In the trial, um, he filed trademark applications for his brand. His actual name, Oscar Pistorius, is a trademarked name. So that's in relation to sporting goods. Um, sort of media engagements um, and public speaking and so forth. So nobody else can actually use the same name as him mm. in relation to that clothing, um, footwear, yeah. etc. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So. What advice could you give if somebody comes up with something great, you know, there's an idea, mm. what's the necessary steps, you know, to ensure your intellectual property? Yeah. So you would actually recommend that you approach an IP attorney and actually speak to them about the type of intellectual property that you're eligible, eligible for, because there's various types of intellectual property, just depending on what you've developed. But if you've come up with a new concept, for example, we would recommend that you actually file a patent for that as soon as possible. Because as soon as you disclose it to the public, as soon as you sp speak to your neighbor about it or your friends or your family... It's out there. It's out there. <laughs> No it's like gets, social media, it's out there. Exactly, you can no longer get that patent protection in place. So okay. as soon as possible before you start working it and, and yeah. selling it, you know, get the patent Keep in place. your ideas to yourself. <laughs> All right, I love it. Elaine, thank you very much for joining us this Thanks. morning. Elaine joining us there from De Beer Turn is talking about World Intellectual Property Day. If you have a great idea, secure it first and then you can talk about it.